Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be telling you how to make this all on mobile. So first, um, yeah, so now you just gotta go into the catalog. And now I'm going to be making an avatar to wear for this. Okay, so now that I'm done, I'm going to, if you want a pose, here's the idea. Um, you then go ahead and head over to emotes. Then the emails, you're going to choose one that has a pose that you want. Oh, wait, so I do like this one because it has a nice pose, so I will be choosing this one. Yay! Cap cut! Now you just have to add your clip that you screen recorded. Go over to a spec ratio. This. And make sure and cap cut, otherwise it won't work. In essential, it's also better if you just freeze it. From like where the clip is. I usually eat the unfair ones. Now you zoom it in, and make it square. Oh, and this green shot it. Okay. Let me see you get the fo your need photo room. Once again to photo room, just click a start from photo at the very bottom. Then double click camera wrong. And add it in. Then it should remove the background. Do you when it has this, you click transparent at the classics. Now you can move it around. Just make sure that it's not touching this um, photo rim part, because if it touches that, then you're going to need to re-add it. But yes, and then now you have to go, um, if you want an outline, as long as it has outline, then press that button. I usually make it like 15. Like that. And, get, and then when you're done, you can always like move the color around. The, I don't do that. So now you click this expert button. I, I say maybe later in and look, say the image. Now you have it. <laughs> now go to Safari and GFX background. <laughs> Up. Background and whatever color it want. So I'm gonna say blue because I want the background to be blue. Oh, no, I changed my mind. Then you shouldn't say orange. Match the hat. Now go to cap cut again. Go to photos and. Choose the background. <laughs> now click overlay and then add in the one way expert from photo room. And my bonnet, you just go to crop and you like, crop it off. There, now it's gone. Then you put this in the middle. Then, so this is your GFX and right now. Okay, so now you go to click on it and then click on the overlay and click it just. Just. Okay. Now you're going to go over to graphs and a dot over here and then in the middle of all sorts. And then you can kind of play around with it. Yeah. Send me to get it like how you want it. You see that? And to add anything in the background, now, to add a glow, 
go over to effects, then video effects, and then just search Edge Glow, and then just choose this one. And then just click layers and then tip for the overlay. And then you can go ahead and adjust how bright you want the overlay to be. Do you like that? I'm going to do it like this. So now it's a glow int. And then, and then through the book, you can um, import like anything that you want. Now, all you have to do um, is don't full screen it because then you'll have this weird line. What I would do is, um, then you thought it, and then, and then just zoom in. in. Now you crop it. Okay. So once you've done that, click save to photos. Now for the next thing you'll need. For the next part, you'll need Pixart. Just go ahead and open up Pixart. Here. Now, um, got it? Okay. And here, once you've clicked on it, just get the sticker. And then just look up anything. Now, after you click apply, click, um, text, because they need watermarks. And I see you don't want one. Now, I'm just going to add in my channel. And then click apply. Now, click next. Save. Save with the picture on here to piss, and now you're done.